This is amazingly exciting. It's like, what am I going to discover under here? Wow, okay. Ooh. Wow, what a wash of energy that's coming off this. Whew. Man. Sorry, I'm getting shivers and just getting this energy, this wow energy off this painting. How amazing that I'm wearing red today. Look at this painting. Wow. I must have must have been in tune a bit earlier. Maybe. When I look at this I just think how how does someone create this? Because it kind of feels random but I sort of tune in and feel that it, it's not. Everything has been very carefully considered. But I kind of feel as though I just kind of want to go up and uh, you know, touch it and kind of be immersed in this. Yeah, it feels quite dimensional to me, many dimensions. Powerful. Very powerful. But I want to touch it. <laughs> Aren't I lucky? energy coming back again. Thank you. Thank you, Obi. Oh, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> yeah, I feel that um, it's on another dimension. Um, that has been produced here in this third dimension that we live in. But it belongs. It's it's been channeled. Uh, yeah, off world. Mm, maybe from our star brothers and sisters. I mm. feel very strongly that Ob was in touch. I kind of feel that um, you know there's a upsurge of emotion coming up for me kind of belongs off-world. It's as though I'm remembering, having a memory from very long ago. And looking at this artwork as triggering memories. Don't quite know what they are yet, but um, it's, yeah, it's triggering very deep Memories. I kind of feel that um, with Obi that he has created these amazing masterpieces, and um, it, it's there's a lot of humour in it in his work. It's sort of like almost a riddle, and he's just wondering if you know some of us can just get it. Mm. I'm just sort of thinking of, you know, yeah, the, the process was um, one of great speed. Um, he probably couldn't get it out fast enough. <sighs> yeah, like many masters.
Yeah, and that's when I just think of, you know, some of the great masters like Beethoven, Mozart, um, you know, that it was just all happening. It's all, they can hear it all, and it's like getting it into the physical form for the rest of us. And his obese painting, his work, body of work, same, yeah, same process. It's, yeah trying to get it down on, on a piece of canvas fast enough um, in order to get it out for us and to look at and touch, feel, admire. Although he wasn't doing it for that, wasn't doing it for us to admire. Yeah, I don't feel as though there, there was a lot of ego there. It's just what he did. Well, that's an amazing way to work because the way these have been placed on here, I keep using the word placed rather than thrown on there. But um, maybe it was just like that and that's the skill of a master. Just knowing the medium that you're working in and knowing how it falls and how it adheres what it does, how it works, and yeah, I'll be new how to do it. I mean, it's interesting because the red or fedor, which is red and Māori, um, that is a very dominant colour that our people use to portray their art. They just use the three colours, the white, the red and the black. So it's very interesting that this painting is Red, fiddle. So I feel very honoured that this painting has chosen me to have an encounter with on the other side of the world in Aotearoa, New Zealand. I wanted to come here. Yeah, this painting wanted to come to Aotearoa. What a journey you've had. Mm. Very well, beautiful painting. How you do that?